Okey, selamat malam semua. Hari ini 19 uh, Disember 2018. Okey, ini merupakan webinar terakhir kita untuk bulan ini. Okey, dan juga untuk tahun ini yang mana uh, uh, minggu depan kita tak ada webinar kerana long holiday for Christmas and New Year. Kita akan kembali pada uh, awal Januari untuk webinar siri 2019. Tetapi malam ini seperti biasa saya akan sambung berkenaan dengan price action trading ya, Intraday trading dengan chart pattern Minggu lepas kita ada belajar uh, Saya ada share macam mana kita nak buat analisa dengan Dengan top and bottom punya structure okay. So hari ini saya akan sambung dengan macam mana kita nak kenali structure dengan menggunakan uh, uh, Triangle pattern okay. Triangle pattern is not Uh, ataupun wage pattern yang mana tu tapi more on the macam mana kita nak entry menggunakan pattern-pattern yang uh, sewaktu dengannya lah triangle wage, wages semua tu itu more on the uh, a bit uh, susah tapi tak rasa susah mana as compare tu dengan ada ada strategi ok so sebelum kita start seperti biasa disclaimer anda perlu baca dan faham Okey tentang produk leverage seperti forex dan CFD mungkin tidak sesuai untuk semua kerana risikonya yang tinggi okey sila pastikan sebelum anda trade anda memahami sepenuhnya risiko yang terlibat ambil kira objektif anda dan pengalaman anda sebelum anda trading okey so bahan pembentangan dalam pembentangan ini dalam webinar ini adalah untuk kegunaan pemasaran umum dan pendidikan sahaja tidak melibatkan sebarang kajian pelaburan ataupun kita panggil signal Okey, ianya tidak boleh dianggap sebagai nasihat pelaburan, cadangan pelaburan atau nasihat jual beli sesuatu instrumen kewangan. <coughs> Okey, sila ambil maklum bahawa informasi mengenai data yang lalu tidak boleh di, dianggap sebagai jaminan untuk data yang akan datang. Okey, pihak kami tidak bertanggungjawab di atas barang kerugian atau keuntungan daripada pelaburan yang diambil berdasarkan informasi dalam pembentangan ini. Okey, harap anda faham. So ini adalah saya, saya skip terus ini lah. Saya rasa semua kenal saya. Everybody know me, I'm Tukui Sat, trainer at Forex. Okay, this is I completing my second year with Forex. So, uh, hopefully next year I will continue to deliver the best education for all trader. Okay, so. Okay, chart pattern, reversal, continuation and bilateral. Last week we learned about top and bottom pattern. So, ini contoh double top ataupun triple top ataupun four top ataupun bottom. Saya dia ajar paling mudah nak tahu tengok structure seperti M ataupun W yang mudah. Okay. Ini kita panggil reversal chart pattern. Okay. Today kita akan belajar sedikit on the continuation chart pattern. Okay. Dengan kemungkinan of bilateral chart pattern yang mana two way possibility. Two way possibility itu yang kita nak tengok. Okey, ada yang tanya saya selepas webinar kenapa tak jahat head and shoulder head. Head and shoulder actually a bit tricky untuk kita identify. So why make thing difficult since we can get the easy easy what? easy pattern that yang kita boleh gunakan. Okey, in forex there are a lot of pattern that available. But try to find the pattern that easier and simple for us to follow. Itu key dia. Okay, so top and bottom saya dah ajar. Head and shoulder saya tak saya, saya skip. Ini mungkin satu nanti saya akan ajar. Top and bottom saya ajar. And then wages ataupun kita, saya, kita more popular panggil triangle. Okay, triangle kenapa continuation ini. Okay, bahasa mudahnya adalah wages ataupun pennant. Dia sebenarnya lebih kurang sama. Tapi the is easier part is kita panggil triangle pattern lah. Okey, dia boleh jadi continuation ataupun two way triangle. So sebab uh, subjektif kenapa saya gunakan I why I use term triangle because I focus more on the three corner punya structure. Okey, three corner punya structure also this three corner. Because to get a perfect triangle is very difficult and to differentiate between wages, pennant, wage, pennant and the Triangle is difficult. So why not we make one thing. Okay, let we work with triangle then it's easy. Okay, so let we go directly to the chart. Okay, let we go directly to the chart. This is the example. Okay, this is the example of the chart. 
but let we look into the simple thing. <coughs> Triangle patterns. Okay, ini drawing ah, abang akan cat tu. Ah, sekejap saya properties and then line graph. Nan. Okay, hilang semua. It is actually not really difficult. Pattern always price we know always move in the structure. Up, retrace, up, retrace. Okay, ini yang kita tahu easiest way. So where is the triangle pattern always occur? Okay, kalau double top double bottom selalunya dia occur at the end of the trend. Kan? Macam sini mungkin ada double bottom ke. Okay. Selalu dia terjadi at the end of the trend. Tetapi dalam triangle pattern, in triangle pattern, it always happen when the retracement. That means you get the first trend, the next, when it retraces, you know what to do. Okay, usually triangle pattern occurred at this area. Usually. This is what interest. Because... Ini kita panggil continuation pattern. That means we are confident it will go up again. Okay. If we miss this part, don't worry because this part and this part always happen. Not 100% happen but always happen. So that the easier part of the triangle pattern. Okay. If we look here. Okay. Example here. Okay. Example here. So, kalau kita tengok di sini, Triangle pattern is a bit tricky. Okay, compare to top and bottom pattern. Kita boleh nampak ini adalah top pattern, right? One way or another is easier. Okay, ini pun adalah top pattern. Okay, it's easy. Okay, ini adalah bottom pattern. Dekat sini. Top and bottom. Okay, and then if we zoom in, Just happened last September. Ah, ini daily punya chart. Ah. Here is the bottom pattern. It is easy. Okay. Right now, it's currently happening also. A, is it a bottom pattern? Probability is there. Okay. But how we want to find the triangle pattern? Okay. Triangle pattern and intraday trading. Okay. Triangle pattern and intraday trading. So, my approach for intraday trading, I mainly work with the H1. Okay, H1. I mainly work with the H1. So, my triangle pattern, always, I always look, the easier part is gunakan line chart. Line chart and the trend line. So, from there, you can get the pattern that you can see. Okay, example like this one. If I connect from line to line here, okay, and then let, let I try to connect line to line here and here, top to top. And if we extend the line, we can see a pattern start to form. Okay, pattern start to form. Triangle pattern always happen tak they are not specific at the top at the middle whatever it is but to see is try to connect between peak to peak and bottom to bottom like this one so you can see okay this is a triangle structure if we draw this one you can see this is triangle structure if we look into the chart it's difficult for us to see seriously Okay, tapi bila kita guna line chart, kita draw, kita try dah tengok dekat sini. So, what is the use of the triangle pattern? Triangle pattern. Okay. Triangle pattern. Ini saya buka notes lah. Boleh nampak? Okay. Triangle pattern lah. Eh? Triangle pattern. Is easier to find using line chart. Walaupun kita, we are candlestick trader, but it is easier 
to find using a line chart. And it serve the similar purpose as SNR support and resistance. Maksudnya, kalau dekat bawah tu, okay, kalau triangle pattern tu macam ni, if this is resistance on the top, this is the support. S, support, and R, resistance. Okay, usually price datang macam ni. So, if the price break the resistance, usually it will go up. Break the support, usually it will go down. So, the breakout strategy using the triangle pattern is one of the most popular strategy. Cuma, ramai yang tak sedar macam mana nak gunakan. Because most of, some of them using the what we call trend line. Okay, example this. Okay, this is the trend line. Boleh nampak ni? You need a thicker line or you are comfortable with this one? Okay, trend line. If we using a breakout theory using trend line, price break trend line, and then going down. Okay, but if we take the approach, safe approach, we can see this is more or less is the triangle. Tak perlu sampai belakang. Kita, let's say this one. This is more or less triangle. If we not believe, then try to go for this and try to connect the in between dot. You can see the triangle pattern is forming. So when the triangle pattern is forming, what we need to do? Wait. Wait until it break. Once it break, then it will go. So itulah kegunaan triangle pattern dalam market. And it is very easy. It's easy for us. Let's say it break. Okay, this is support. It break support. Traditional horizontal. Go down. So, but triangle pattern ni is difficult to find. Because why? Because the our eyes need to be trained to find the pattern. Itu je kelemahan dia. Okay? Itu je kelemahan dia. So, let me look another example. Okay, let's see USDJPY. Okay, USDJPY. Right now, you see. Okay? Right now, what we can see is try to draw a trend line. Bottom to bottom. Okay? This one. Top to top. You can see it started to make a trend. Here, yeah, this is the flag. Okay. Ada yang panggil flagpole. Ada yang panggil pattern. Ada yang panggil triangle. Whatever. But if we see here, tak payah jauh lah. So, jauh sangat ni. Kita tak nampak. Okay. It start to form a pattern here. Okay. At this area, it start to form a pattern. So, what will happen? Easy. Convert to trend line. So, one thing. This is the bonus. This is the support area. Don't forget the support and resistance. This is the basic support resistance. And it happened at the support resistance area, the triangle. So, if, ah, jangan kata saya bagi signal. Okay. If it break above. So, you know where to do. Where it will go. First thing, this is the resistance, right? Most probably, it will go here. If it break the triangle. Okay. So, what should we do? Try to look onto the reversal pattern. Now, we have reversal pattern. It break. You can see. Confirm at the bullish candle. Maybe we can trade this one. This is below our swing low. This is the example. Okay. Or, if it break below, then what happened? Sell information activated. So, what we can do? Probability it will go down is very high. So, where is the support? If we cannot find at the H4... 
a H1, try to find a H4. Or maybe you can go to Delhi, you can see this is the next support resistance area. Okay, so probability it will go down is very high. Okay, probability where we go down to work here. If it break below, this is the classical triangle pattern. And this pattern always happen, remember. Always happen, Kiana. Try to train. Okay, this one you need to train your eyes seriously. Because why? If you not train your eyes, you cannot see. So, how can I train? Just open a line chart. You try to connect. Connect here and there. Connect bottom, bottom. And you can see the pattern. And you can see break above boom. Okay, here. Connect the line. Okay, ini just roughly idea saya bagi. Connect the line. And you can see. Uh, ini yang kita panggil wages. Tapi saya senang je. We are not the pro trader. Not really, really pro trader. We are not uh, really stick to the theory. Okay, the theory is kopi ais yang sedap, kopi kena campur susu. Sebab ada yang ambil kopi, campur susu, campur gula, lagi sedap. Okay, the recipe is different. But the objective is the same. Okay, itu yang nak beritahu. So, you can see, break below. Okay, break above. You know what to do. Okay, but if we use a... A candlestick pattern, okay, boleh dapat, tapi it's difficult because of the shadow. You, if you draw, maybe you draw like this. You can see like this. But if line chart, you can see this different. Okay, cuma kelemahan pattern triangle ni, the triangle pattern, the weakness is maybe it will give you a force. Force signal possibility is very high. Okay, you can see here, yang saya cakap continuation, you look here. Okay, ini box lah. I delete again. If we use a line chart, cannot see anything. Just a retracement. Right? Tapi kadang-kadang candlestick, you boleh nampak. It start to form something like this. Right? A small triangle structure. Okay, zoom in. Oh, you can see. Boleh nampak? Okay. Kalau tak, okay, I try to make it thicker. I think you can see it, right? So, you see, triangle, break, go. So, what is the strategy? Strategy always sell on the breakout, stop loss above the swing high. Sama saja. Okay? So, this is the small, small pattern. Some traders like to use a big pattern, like this one. In which they see, okay, this is what the pattern we are waiting for. Okay, what we have, the pattern we are waiting for? Is this pattern correct? Correct. Also correct. But this is the big structure. This is the small structure. Pattern always exists in the big structure, small structure. Big structure, small structure. And this is one of the easiest trade that ever can take. Okay. Okay, just we need to sharpen our eye a bit. Something like this. When you see retracement, you just draw. Okay, the next retracement, draw. And you can see pattern. But this pattern not really beautiful. Not really triangle. Okay, but just try train your eyes. Okay, saya train. Sebab saya belajar dulu. Seriously, I belajar dulu. Everything using line chart. Support resistance, draw using line chart. Okay. Uh, horizontal line chart uh, trend line also line chart see here see the unseen ok here to here is this a triangle yeah of course change it and you can see it clearly
But if you if we use a trend line, it's taking shadow as a baseline also can no problem. Okay, but your eyes need to be more sharp and uh, focused. Okay, what is the theory? What is the theory behind the triangle pattern? Why triangle pattern is uh, favorite among the professional trader? The theory is based on the liquidity. Okay? Liquidity at a certain price. Contohnya macam ini, there are a lot of buyer, seller, buyer, seller. And then you can see the liquidity start to stop. It failed to create a new high. At the same time, it failed to create a new low. It started to compress, 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 compress. Liquidity hilang. So whenever it happen, ini teori Bollinger Band. When the market volatility, kita panggil, it started to flat out. There will be one explosive movement that will move the market. So, explosive movement yang ini yang kita nak. That make money. So, just stand by. It break below, sell. Break above, buy. Percentage is different. Okay? Percentage successful is depend. Tapi, apabila ini contoh, ha? I change back. Okay, I marking using line chart, but trading mainly is the, mainly is the characteristic pattern. So, I know one thing. If this is the support resistance area, it break already support. So, I know that once the candle complete, I can sell. Okay. What, the problem is where is the stop loss pressing? Stop loss pressing always, okay, sorry. Above the previous swing high. Okay. Macam ini. 30. Let's say we make it 40 pips. What is our target? As usual, try to work minimum one to one, but if possible, one to two, 80 pips. So you can get the target. This is how the triangle pattern work. Triangle pattern seriously, very direct. But this advantage triangle as compared to the candlestick uh, to the top and bottom is Apa tadi saya cakap? Uh, the main apa? Lupa pula. Saya blur tiba-tiba. Ah, tak apa. Sekejap blur. Sorry. Nak buat ayat terus lupa. Okay. Sorry again. Okay. Uh, the... Okay. Kita sama. Sorry. Blur sikit. Ada uh, distraction dekat office ni. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Apologies. Sebab ada distraction sikit. Saya pusing. Saya terlupa. Okay, the advantage of the triangle pattern is you can catch the explosive moves. Bila market hilang, the punya volatility, the next will be very, very explosive. Okay, and then triangle, when it's happened during the retracement, is more explosive. Okay, if I look here, this is retracement. Nampak tak? Let me see, look here sekarang. Okay, if we convert to line chart, you can see it clearly. It's getting compressed, 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 compressed. And boom. Here you go. It's going up. And then this is the our resistance, previous resistance here. Resistance is break. You take the risk. You go for the trade. You get your money. So it's happened. Sebenarnya dia, it's happened now. It's happened at very retracement. This is the small retracement that you can see. If you give attention to those retracement, I believe you will get your idea how the triangle work. Boom. But this is not really explosive because Okay, so the easier part is try to find a triangle. So, top and bottom selalu at the beginning of the trend. 
triangle selalu terjadi. Okey, ini contoh kalau kita nak guna shadow lah. Okey, kita nak guna shadow, guna candlestick, you can see the example like this. Okey, this is the example. You can see price is going down. Nicely, pick up and go. Pattern is really, 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 really interesting. If we know how to use it. Okay, cuba tengok sini ya. This is how the price drop going up again retrace and drop and then going up and drop and then going up and drop and then going up okay if we connect the top and bottom you can see this is not really beautiful but still eh, more or less triangle pattern yang kita panggil tadi wages ataupun apa but I hate the term of wages triangle Wage triangle pendant for me as long as it triangular shape is triangle everything triangle for me. This is not really triangle. Tapi you can see it's break, retest and go down. Okay. So after that it also break, retest and go down. Ini kita kalau kita guna candlestick chart. We can see it. Does it must okay body to body shadow to body ah uh, okay nice question. I need to draw based on body to body or shadow to body, uh, shadow shadow body body okay. For me, I have no specific rule. For me, simple as I see the structure look like triangle, I will draw. I'm not rigid on the okay train line must be on the. Shadow, shadow, like this one. First shadow, second shadow. And then, okay, like this. For me, as long as I can see the triangle-like pattern, like this one, in which I can see clearly, I know I have the opportunity. Okay. So, I have opportunity once it breaks. Okay, this is my entry point. Okay. This is my entry point. So, my risk is about the... Okay, macam ni. 50 pip, let's say 50 pips. My target, I will try to work with the 100 pips. And here we go. Next question... Can we apply to the lower time frame? The lower the time frame, the more frequent it happen. Tapi, I need to emphasize that the more frequent it happen, the more frequent you will get trapped with the force signal. Okay, so clear. Okay, the trick. Macam mana kita nak tengok kalau saya tak tahu nak lukis trend line. Okay. I don't know how to draw trend line. Actually, on your menu here, view. Okay, view. And this one, function there. Kat sini, kita ada triangle punya box. You can draw the triangle box like this if you want. Then you can see it. Okay. Like this one. Okay. Tapi ini, the, the triangle happen will be a very, very beautiful triangle. Okay. So this triangle is break down. Retest, you can sell. But I personally prefer using a trend line because trend line is easier. Okay, trend line is really, really easy. Okay. 
Okay, at lower time frame, you can get like this one. The tips is, ini kita panggil expanding, more on the expanding triangle ataupun rectangular lah. Okay, the key is simple. Always try to see, bawah ada move yang strong, kita tahu retracement, try to find the So theory, once it's go, try to find the triangle. Sometimes you will not get a perfect triangle. Don't worry. As long as like this one, this is not really perfect triangle. Okay. So if we look here, we try to draw, maybe we will overlap a bit more, blah, 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 but still a triangle pattern. If you go, you break out, force break, retest, and go down. Okay, clear. This is simple. Any break, you can trade. But how to approach is depend to individual. Every individual have their own approach. Okay, let's we see. The most favorite the trade pattern is on the gold. Kenapa? Gold is technically beautiful as compared to the currency. Okay, if we look here, gold M15 or this morning, this morning or yesterday? Okay, yesterday. Do you see this? Right. This is triangle. It break above, retest, and go. If we draw properly, then maybe it will be like this. Is this a double bottom? depend to how you view it this is probability of double bottom okay if the supply and demand guy okay this is the theory and supply and demand okay and then this is the Fibonacci style this is also a accepted whatever it is if you know the pattern you know what it will do next What it will do next will give a lot of different for our preparation. Trust me. It is easy if we practice. So, Question, come. Okay, triangle pattern. How we can make master the triangle pattern? Okay. One thing, you need to draw. Drawing and drawing, you can start to see the pattern. Triangle is not as simple as double top, double bottom. Just wait at the top and bottom. Triangle can happen at the top, bottom, or in the center. But what is the benefit of triangle is we can create the break usually very strong. So get the idea. Triangle, the best is line chart. Try to find. You try to find, try to see. You will get it. Seriously. Okay, you will get it. How hard we should try? Hardest possible. Like this one. Okay.
double bottom and you can see it's move and then it form the triangle pattern Dia sebenarnya triangle ni eh, ada yang cakap it's quite difficult. It's not really difficult actually. I love triangle. The key is same. I am same like you all as well. Initial day is very 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 tricky to find to understand. Okay, this is triangle or not? This is triangle or not? But what I do is I just draw the P and I try to see. Okay, which one is the triangle? Okay, dia sebenarnya tak susah tapi tak senang. Hard work make difference. Hard work make difference. Itu yang kita kena faham. Beza dia dengan double top and double bottom. But if you can combine both Macam mana nak cakap lah. So, if you practice, practice, practice. If you combine double top and bottom and triangle, you can make a lot, a lot of very good trick. Itu yang kena ingat. Okay. So, itu triangle. How we want to work out? Unfortunately, like I say, it need a lot of practice. Like this one, also a triangle. This one is not really a triangle. This one more on the more uh, more rectangular. Okay, tapi retracement. When you have retracement, you have a breakout. Go for it. Okay, like this one retracement. So, ini example-example yang saya lukis, yang saya nampak. Okay. So, this is how we work. Okay. Okay. When triangle wage pattern, we can foresee the price is going to explode. But how do we know price is going up or going down? We don't know. Seriously, we don't know. But how we want, can take is when advantage of it once we know it's exploded up or down then we can follow the trend usually it is a continuation trend ok macam tadi saya bagi example dari sini eh. ok sini most likely kita ada double bottom ok kita ada double bottom if we go clearly maybe here we can have the triangle pattern if we can see So, selalunya kalau ada double bottom, double top, kita akan ada the next pattern. How we want to know is to buy or to sell. Simple. Break support, look for sell. Break resistance, look for buy. Okay. I don't know you can see it or not, but I can see like this one. Okay. This is triangle pattern. Which way it export? It's going up. Now, break out and it's split up. If you cannot see, like I said, convert to the line chart, you can see the pattern triangle.
Okay, so we don't know. We don't know is explode up or down. We don't know. But once it's explode, we can take advantage of that. Because once it's explode, it will go quite far. Do we have a false signal? False signal, I try to find, but unfortunately, tak jumpa. False signal sell, contoh, tapi dia naik balik. I cannot really, really see. Okay, that means it's break above and then it's down. Kita dah masuk buy. Okay, so double top dah clear. Double bottom dah clear. Triangle dah clear. Practice this top and bottom structure and triangle structure. Practice it. Make it perfect. You will see the consistency. This is not 100% winnable trade. Sometimes it gives you a false signal. But most of the time, it gives you a profit. Cuma, masalah dia, sometimes... Bila dia terjadi waktu tu kita tak ada depan komputer, tak ada depan handphone ataupun kita tengah tidur, tengah buat kerja lain. So when it happen, what should we do? Let it go. Wait for the next structure. Okay, so I have another 5 to 10 minutes. Okay, for tonight, there are bonus for you all. The last webinar. The last webinar and the bonus. Okay, so what is the bonus? Okay, the bonus is tonight we will have a FOMC meeting. So, how we do the uh, analysis. Okay. Do the analysis based on the technical and the forecast and everything. Okay. Let me take example. Okay. Right now. Gold. Okay. Right now, gold. If we see a small structure, let, let go for H1. We know a news and it will give a breakout. Okay. It will give a... So, selalunya... Pattern structure ni terjadi waktu news. Okay, sangat best. Okay, this is our trend line. Support resistance. Okay. You see it like this. Okay. So, what happen is, try to find a structure before news. Okay, try to find a structure before news. H1, M15 or whatever it is. Okay. So, try to find structure before news. And you know, the news will give you the what information that you need. Okay, like me. Okay, M15. This is what I saw today. Eh? If we convert to the line chart, what we see right now is it try to form a structure. Right? It try to form a structure. So, what you see here is it's try to form a triangle. So, when it form a triangle, one thing that we can do, try to see. Before news, this triangle is break or not. Okay? Let me open the... Open the... Okay? And then... Entry on ini tadi ya, on the breakout. Okay, news and pattern. Usually, usually ya, usually, 
pattern started to form before news and then breakout happens once the data is released why because market volatility then Sorry, market liquidity tend to dry up before news, especially major news like FOMC and then cause a volatility to increase. So what happens lepas news keluar selalunya akan ada one explosive move. Boop boom go. So what I'm monitoring now. Okay. Terus share what I'm monitoring now. Okay. What I'm monitoring now is beautiful USD JPY. Because why? You can see. Okay. I take. You can see price start to move slowly and go for the very very small movement. If we convert to the line chart, then we can start to see a triangle start to form. This is what I monitor. Okay, usually after news, this structure will collapse. Maksudnya structure ni akan pecah. Pecah ke atas ataupun ke bawah. So when you see it collapse, you wait market to slow down a bit, then usually it will go with the direction. We take the trade. Write this now. Okay. USD JPY. We look sebab Tonight is FOMC. Okay, FOMC, this is what we can use the structure. Okay, structure now is start to forming. It start create lower low. Tak nampak, kita try to work out with this. You can see what is start to form. Okay. So, usually before news, usually yeah, it will start to form a structure. When it start to form structure, that the time, the best time lah. The best time for us to trade. After news, it will break out, then we know where to go. Okay. This happen usually, usually yeah, usually during, before the big news like FOMC, NFP, semua ni sering terjadi. Kalau kita tengok NFP, you can see the NFP. But this is too volatile. Lah. Okay. Ada yang nampak macam ni, ada yang nampak macam ni. Don't worry if you see different thing compared to your friend. Don't worry. So, traditional traditional pattern trader they are using stop trading. Stop trade. Okay. Uh, okay. They using sell stop by stop. Traditional. Okay. Entry stop. Any stop loss target. So, traditional, when it's happened during news, dulu-dulu lah, ini saya cerita, dia orang akan stop. Okay, dia orang akan letak buy stop. Saya stop. Mana break, dia akan pergi. Okay. Itu dulu. Tapi sekarang, selalu jadi false signal. Please be careful. I prefer to enter when it move, retrace, then I enter. Okay. So, back to the news. Okay. Back to the news. Tonight, I will give my analysis on the FOMC. Okay. Bonus for you all. 
tonight FOMC. So expected will be rate hike for US. So by default, by default, rate up USD strong okay but ini analysis market analysis but market expected this will be what we call dovish high apa maksud dovish high maksud dovish high is the in Increase the rate, interest rate, but with a bit negative statement. Okay, with a bit negative statement. Negative statement is not good because central bank, whatever they said, will dictate the market. They said something positive. Market will react. Selalunya currency yang terlibat akan strong. Okay. Tapi, if the statement is negative, what market see is, it uh, it is a weak signal for the currency. Okay. So, dalam bahasa ni, you try to hawkish versus dovish. Ini sebenarnya hawkish ni hawk. Okay. Burung helang. Burung helang terbang tinggi, dof. Burung pati terbang rendah. Hawkish lalu tinggi, dovish lalu ke bawah rendah. So, this is the common jargon. Okay, common term for the uh, economies, economy and financial market. Hawkish versus dovish. Okay. So, what happened tonight is market expecting FOMC will revise, okay? Market expecting thing, FOMC will revise the rate hike and economic projection for 2019 and for 2019 and 2020. Okay. Sebab apa? Because right now, this is what market expecting. How we want to know? Easy. You just open the Bloomberg market daily. Okay. Bloomberg, they will discuss, discuss, discuss. And they're telling you what they're expecting. So, remember, we are trader. We are retail trader. So the big trader usually the bank the the bank mostly the bank they always make a forecast projection uh, analysis so usually we use the analysis to get the idea what is the expectation so expectation uh, market expecting uh, Federal Reserve akan revise the economic projection for the next year and year after because they expect there will be a slowdown for the US economy. So what happened? They will revise their target. Because right now, worldwide, punya economy tengah slow down. Okay, worldwide punya economy tengah slow down and it started to affect US. So when the global economy slow down, selalunya US akan follow. So, because of that, they have to increase the rate, but they likely to give a negative statement. Because, economy data, yang news, news semua tu, news tu sebenarnya economy data. Okay, because based on the economy data US, data is good, but not good enough. Maksudnya, data tu bagus, tapi tak sebagus seperti yang diharapkan. So, they start to see the trend. Data is good but started to slow down. 
Macam dia nak bentuk triangle pattern lah. So, before it burst down, they will try to slow down everything. So, the market is expecting tonight, they will be dovish high. This is one of the reason kenapa kalau kita tengok, US dollar is very weak this week. Okay? It's very weak this week. If you open the chart, you can see US dollar is very weak. Okay, kita cuba tengok. Uh, uh, Euro USD. For this week. Eh? You can see. Price started to go up. Euro USD. H4 this week. From bottom to up. Okay. Because market is expecting a dovish high. Sorry. So USD JPY. You can see price is falling this week. Okay. GU. Price is going up. Now retrace a bit. Okay. USD CHF. Price is falling down. And you see USD CHF. Convert to line chart. And you start to see the trend line. Try to sambung. Ini besar punya structure lah. We don't know how long. But this is the structure of the triangle. If you go to daily, you can see the triangle. Tukar kepada lancar nak senang. You can see the triangle start to form. So, bila triangle form, maksudnya, it will be explosive proof. When? We don't know. Maybe tonight, because of the FOMC, maybe. We don't know. Maybe, hopefully. But usually this triangle pattern happen before the news, after news, it will be very, very explosive move. Okay? So, balik kepada tadi, market is expecting US dollar very weak. Uh, we will go for dovish high. So, what happened? This drive the US weak and weaker and weaker. So, where is the US dollar? Uh? USD index. I cannot find USD index. Are they here? So you can see USD index for this week is falling. Okay. So the beneficiary something like gold, everything, it will go up. So this is happened before the news. Market is expecting. So what is the good news? The good news is we are trader. Don't forecast. Okay, I expect tonight tonight market will break out or whatever it is. Okay, I target USD weeks. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, try to look this one. Okay, this is the structure that we like. Triangle. We start to show a triangle pattern. Right? Betul tak? Okay, what happened? What happened? When the market after news is a break above, then try to find the place where we can buy. Itu saja trick dia. That's why I like about triangle because the breakout usually very volatile. It will go very far. Just the matter is how we want to control the risk management. Itu yang penting. So back to the FOMC. So market is expecting a red high but with a dovish high. Okay. So be careful with that. Selalunya FOMC first, they can go one spike and then, okay. 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 So typically, yeah. Typically, 
market react to rate hike news then it will started to react to uh, class statement statement and then it will slow down a bit then react react to press conference by Governor Powell. So this is typical. Typical, typical FOMC punya data. Sebab dulu ada tanya saya, uh, US high uh, rate, kenapa USD weak? We must look into the Uh, the the press statement okay rate, revise the rate height kita panggil sini dot plot okay so mana nak tengok senang eh you want to see this thing uh, you open twitter account you follow bloomberg market bloomberg market or reuters market you akan dapat facebook pun ada reuters market bloomberg market okay so itu saja saya nak share malam ini. Hopefully, you will do the tactical whatever you can do. Prepare. But this is how I prepare. Usually before news, akan ada pattern yang cantik. Semua tu saya akan tengok. Kalau saya jenis risk taker, depend on the day, I put the stop. Okay? Buy stop, sell stop. So, I know the stop, the stop loss and the target. Tapi most of the time I will wait it to break up, break the triangle and then retrace a bit and then I go continue the trend. Okay, so this all for tonight. Thank you very much for coming. So hopefully what I share in 2018 is beneficiary for you all. Okay, beneficiary for you all. So thank you for keep supporting me for the 2018 webinar we will meet again 2019 in two weeks time okay i will come with the new syllabus fresh syllabus and we will continue maybe we will change day or whatever i will update to you later okay so because i try to gather the information maybe we start a bit earlier 8 30 we see how the discussion with the management i will update to you okay please Add me at the Facebook, okay. Add me at the Facebook, Facebook, say to quiz HF, okay. To quiz HF, you see here. Add me at the Facebook, I, I always update the market analysis at the Facebook most of the time, okay. So, this is my name, to quiz HF at the Facebook, okay. So, thank you very much, thank you for your interest. Thank you very much for keep supporting me for 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 one year of 2018. Good night everybody and bye bye.